Hey guys, I'm Jared, this is Confused Films, and if you own a GoPro Hero 3, this sound is familiar to you. That was the sound of 30 pictures being taken in one second. Now, as awesome as this feature is, how do we combine all of these pictures and put it into one picture like the pros do it? And even more importantly, how do we do that for free? So you're going to go out and take your sequence with the burst mode on the camera, the one with lots of squares. And once you're done, come back to your computer and finish this video with me. So we're going to go open the browser and you're going to download GIMP 2.8 or whatever the current version is. It's a free software and yeah, that works for PC and Mac. So whenever you download that, you can come back. Now we're going to plug in the camera and power that on and you can see we're connected to the computer. I've already gone and copied all the files over. So we're going to open GIMP and we're going to go into the file and we're going to go open. And then we're going to click the first picture you want in your sequence and you're going to open that. Okay, so as you can see we got one picture in there. Now we're going to open the rest. So we're going to go file, open as layers. And then you're going to select all the next pictures that you took with your sequence. And it's going to open all those. So you're going to want to copy these files over first by the way because um, it recognize, it doesn't really recognize external drives and things. So now we're going to go stack and reverse layer order because they're all mixed up, right? Or backwards. And just give it a sec to do that. Now we're going to go back up to layer and we're going to go down into mask. Then we're going to add layer mask and then we're going to pull out that window and select black full transparency and then click add. And now we've got that black square there you can see. Just give the photo a sec to catch up. Software isn't the fastest. Now we're going to select our paintbrush tool and turn up the size. Um, I do this just so it can go a little bit faster, but yeah. And then we're going to select our, go over to the two squares here and select white as the foreground and then black as the background. And then we're just going to paint the subject or whatever in like that holding the mouse down obviously with the paintbrush tool. So now you can see we have two dogs now as the sequence. Now we're just going to select the next picture in our sequence and do exactly what we did before. Go down to mask, add layer mask. Uh, it should remember that you put black full transparency. Click add and now we're going to paint that one. Just give it a sec. We're going to paint that one in. It's important you don't overlap onto the other parts of your subject, otherwise they're going to get erased. As you can see there, we've painted the dog in. So now we have three dogs, just being very careful with this. And when you do the image sequence, you should always have it to the side of what's going on. So we'll just speed this up. Now we can see that the dog's almost going to overlap to the last frame. You can see that the nose is faded out there, so we're going to go down the magnifying glass and zoom in. And uh, we're going to select the paintbrush tool, and we're going to do the size, and you can see we're carefully trying to uh, put that nose in there. You can see it's not quite in there. There, there we go. Now we've got it in there. Uh, I think I, oops, I accidentally raised some of the dog, but that's okay. No one will notice anyways. So now we've got the image sequence. We're going to zoom out and we can see what we're left with, which is the finished product. So there you have it. How to push all those photos down into just one photo to create an awesome slow motion effect from your GoPro. And it's really awesome for wowing your friends and everything because anybody can like snap a picture at the precise second, but it's a little bit harder and takes a little bit more practice pasting all those photos together but in the end, it's really rewarding and it's really interactive for everyone to look at. It's unique and it's something more towards people that are used to using cameras can do. But I just wanted to show you guys how to do that easily today. So guys, if you like this tutorial, comment down below and tell me. I'd love to hear that. Also, don't forget to rate this video, hopefully a like, and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week. And as always, thanks for watching.